Now, tonight, scientists are warning of a possible threat to the gains made in the fight against malaria following the discovery of a new mosquito species that has shown resistance to locally used insecticides. Well, according to researchers from the Kenya Medical Research Institute, or KEMRI, unlike traditional malaria-causing mosquitoes, Anopheles stephensi transmits two malaria parasites, which pose the greatest risk of severe illness and even death. And as Serfina Chengoma now reports, scientists discovered the mosquito variant in Mandera County and are trying to establish whether it has spread to other parts of the country. Amidst the intensified war against malaria that has seen the country achieve great milestones, a new enemy is within the Anopheles stephensi mosquito, a new species of mosquito which scientists from the Kenya Medical Research Institute say is more lethal. According to scientists, the Anopheles stephensi mosquito poses a great risk of severe illnesses such as dengue fever, yellow fever and chikungunya as it can transmit more than one parasite. By looking at it, the microscope it may look just like a normal mosquito, but its behavior is totally different. Apart from transmitting Plasmodium falciparum, the normal malaria we know, it can also transmit Plasmodium vivax, which is not common in this region. So that makes it more dangerous than the normal Anopheles gambia mosquito. The mosquito is said to thrive in man-made containers and breeding habitats in polluted settings, raising concern among researchers who say malaria transmission may continue all year round rather than being seasonal. Apart from it being able to survive almost anywhere, even like in dirty water where Anopheles gambi normally don't survive, but this one can survive in containers. So it doesn't follow the normal pattern of rainfall. It can breed throughout the year. That's one problem. Number two, where it's been known to be there, it's shown very high re resistance to all control measures, all insecticides. The Anopheles stephensi mosquito is said to have originated from South Asia and the Middle East before finding its way to Africa, spreading to countries like Djibouti, Ethiopia and Sudan, Somalia and Nigeria. It was first reported in Kenya in February last year in Lysamis and Sakusab counties in Marsabit County and its spread to Mandera County is alarming due to its ability to spread very fast to new areas. The first reports were found in the northern part of uh, Africa, in the Horn of Africa, Djibouti, Ethiopia, and we think it's migrating downwards. Since Mandera is one of those border regions, it's entered Kenya through Mandera, and I think, and also through Kana, it seems to be the same route that it's coming down, and probably it will invade even other cities. The detection of this mosquito poses a major public health threat to Kenya, which recently launched a malaria vaccine. In Djibouti, where malaria had gone down, where it is invaded, malaria cases have gone up. So this is a threat in majorly in the major towns where malaria is never there. So we think if Anopheles stephensis goes to the major cities, it will be a problem where we've been able to control malaria. Kemri is monitoring the new mosquito threat, urging people to cover all water containers to avoid mosquito breeding, utilize available malaria control tools such as treated mosquito nets or other personal protective measures. Safin Aching Oma, Citizen TV.